everyone, I just want to share with something with you that's a little bit different today. Um, I bought this table yesterday in a local charity shop and I just could not resist the design of it. It's actually a little telephone table, probably dating from about 1940s, something like that, maybe slightly later. Um, and I just adore the design style of this. Um, and I am going to renovate it. Now some would say, maybe, why not keep it maybe in the beautiful colour that it is, but I am going to um, use Annie Sloan chalk paint to, um, yeah, to, to renovate it. And I just think it would be, make a beautiful seat in our new home. So I'm gonna share um, snippets of the process as we go along, but here it is in its raw state. And I have never used chalk paint before, but I've done what everybody does and watched a few YouTube reviews. And um, yeah, basically you don't need to do any work, you don't need to prime it, don't even need to sand it, nothing like that. Basically I'm gonna walk, um, I'm gonna clean it off with some soap and water, let that dry, um, go and buy the paint obviously, and then let the transformation begin. So I will share some of those, um, share some of the progress with you as I go along. Okay, whilst I'm busy renovating a, um, as I discover, 1960s uh, table, um, telephone table, my amazing husband, who is um, in his finest Sunday attire, um, is creating me a new sewing table. I absolutely love it. So my husband's designed this himself. Um, and it's gonna be 130 centimeters by about 70 centimeters, is that right? Um, so we measured our new um my new sewing room yesterday in a house that we are in the purchase process of purchasing so hopefully it'll come together but my current sewing table um was a sort of a a, a tip find i think um and actually is bowing so will need to be replaced but look at that isn't that the craftsmanship there it's just amazing and i'm dead proud so thank you very much husband Hi everyone, so you join me just as I'm about to start doing the painting. I've got microwaves going off in the background and all sorts of things, so there's apologies about the background noise. As you can see, I've just literally started um, and couldn't resist doing a little bit before I did some filming. But I'm going to put this on to time lapse and um, you should see how it comes out. But already it's an amazing thing. Um, the lady did warn me in the shop today how exactly addictive this is. So let's have some fun and see the time lapse of it. So there we are, first coat done. Now, I am no skilled painter. Um, I cannot remember the last time I had a paintbrush in my hand, um, but that was one of the beautiful things about watching Annie Sloan on her YouTube channel, where she shows you how to paint. You literally slap it on in all directions. That is the technique that luckily I could, um, I could go for. I'm really pleased with the coverage so far, um, and it really has used very little paint. Um, it's a very high, highly pigmented paint, that means it goes a long way. Um, and if you were going for a rustic kind of, um, I don't know, washed, uh, wood washed look, then probably one coat on this would be fine. That's not what I'm going for, I want a nice smooth matte finish. Um, so that is coat one done um, of the underside, obviously. Um, I will be leaving the total underside, as you can see here, um, that'll that'll stay as it is now. Um, no need to paint that. You won't see that when it's on the ground.
Okay, so here we are. Um, first coat completed all round. Now, as I say, I am no Picasso, so I'm not going to win any prizes for painting here. Um, but that's the technique. You basically put a little on the brush and wipe it in all directions. And so far, this is the finish that I've got. I must say, I actually quite like it. As I say, if I was going for um, let's cut really draw action in the background, apologies. But um, yeah, if I was going for sort of shabby chic or something, then actually that's a really good coverage already. Um, and remember, all that's happened to this so far is it was a wipe down with a, um, a cloth and soap and water. No chemicals um, used to clean it so far. So I'm going to stop there for now and then I'm going to put a second coat on tomorrow night. Um, although I could have done a second coat this evening because it is actually already dry, which is amazing. Okay, so as a quick update on the table, I'm smiling and laughing because here's the culprit over here who's desperate to make a cameo. Uh, he's popping out whenever he wants to, bless him. So um, the table, look at this, it's amazing. Completely handcrafted by my husband, amazing. Um, and it's had its first coat of the Annie Sloan Paris Grey, same as my little telephone table. And look how well it's gone on, that's amazing. And obviously this was just um, plain ply. Um, and pine legs but super pleased with how that's coming out um, really super cute so yeah looking good I uh, will leave that to dry overnight although you don't need to it is actually dry already but we'll have some dinner so this is day two um, and I have transferred to outside because it's a balmy lovely evening here um, and uh, uh, <laughs> neighbours building things next door so a little bit of interference but um, yeah so it's interesting actually because uh, my husband painted the sewing table and it went on really smoothly but he did use a different technique to me um, but yeah, you can see there, um, it is very rustic. Um, and look, I'm looking forward to getting a so second coat onto it this evening. So here we are. It's had its two coats of paint. We're actually back in the sewing room here. And I'm about to apply um, the final finish, which is the wax. When I come down here, you can see, so you've got a sort of clear wax. Um, and because the Annie Sloan chalk paint um, hasn't had any priming, it doesn't need to be varnished or anything like that, but it would need to be sort of stabilised and coated to protect um, and, and make the paint as durable as possible. So it's a really easy process. Um, I'm going to do this with you one-handed. So I've basically got a lint-free lint -free cloth here. You basically put a small amount of wax on um, and sort of rub it rub it in all directions and you can see there it gives a nice clear smooth finish um, it doesn't take any time to dry particularly it doesn't have doesn't really have an impact on the color of the paint either um, I suppose you could say it makes it maybe a little a little clearer but there you go that is the product completed. So I have actually waxed the rest already. Um, just got this little door to do here. So <laughs> turns out there are many ways of putting on a hinge. Um, thank goodness my husband was home because I couldn't get it around the right way. But I'm super pleased with it. Um, I'm just about to make a seat now. So I'll take some footage or take some pictures and explain that to you. everyone 
So that was a very unglamorous job of cleaning off my table. And if I pan round, okay, so this is the estate agent shot. Look at that lovely clean empty table. Oh yeah, look, uh, slight sewing chaos pursues around here. So um, yeah, no, it's all neat and tidy really. Just I've just been plonking stuff where it is. But oh, I'm super pleased with that. Um, my very talented husband made this table for me, as you're aware. So thank you, honey. Um, and I'm going to now fill it up again. Um, yeah, cleanest the sewing table and especially the floor has been in a really long time. So, oh, it's so lovely to see it in place though. So I'm gonna fill it back up again. Okay, and here she is in all her glory. I am super, super pleased. What a lovely opportunity to clean the decks as well. But yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I bought these little mats from Dunrell this morning. Uh, not Dunrell, <laughs> it's my favorite place in Holland. Sorry, Dunelm this morning um, to sit machines on so that I don't mark the table. But they're just like a couple of placemats um, that I think go with the scheme and theme I'm looking for. Um, actually, on my um, on my ironing board here is some fabric I also bought from Dunelm today, which is really really pretty. And I'm about to cover my ironing board in that, so maybe I'll share some footage of that. But that's also if I pan round here and see my fabric stash there. Hello, Daisy, outside. And then this is the seat that I've been working on, as you know, and I'm going to make a seat pad. Um, this is my, my work in progress that I'm cut out, ready to go. I'm going to make a seat pad to go on that out of, oh, make you feel poorly, and I'll scan back around, of that fabric too. So it's all going to be very coordinated and just subtly pretty and nice to look at. Nice environment. Um, yeah, I'm very, very lucky. That's it for now. Okay, so here we are finally, the finished article. I am super, super pleased. Um, that is our first time of ever doing any upholstery. So there is a slight pucker in the, the corner there, but I'll probably straighten that out in a moment. But I'm really, really pleased with how that's come out. There's <laughs> Molly's doll's house in the background. And also in case you're wondering what the little house is, that's actually a bug hotel. Um, just just in the corner there but stick to the stick to the point of the the, the video Cara yeah so there you go so lovely little seat cushion made um, using the Dunelm fabric and as I say in the footage we literally um, from Dunelm I bought a, a foam seat pad um, which is only four pounds um, my husband used some ply that he had in the shed to mount that onto and then as you saw we, um, it was quite a quick process actually just staple gunned the fabric onto it so I am really really pleased um, now I haven't thought about this filming before <laughs> this final bit but if I pan around now you'll see so there's the this is not going to stay in here but obviously this is how I'm set up at the moment pan around see my rubbish bag there see the table my filming equipment etc and then I actually will give you a sneak peek, although I am going to probably include it in my very unglamorous fabric. Um, I'll probably tell you a bit more about this ironing board cover at some stage, but I am really pleased with how that came out. Um, so it's a bit random that it coordinates with my, <laughs> my seat pad. They won't end up in the same room in the new house. Um, but if I continue to scroll around here, and I apologise for the state of my room because I'm obviously doing filming and moving stuff around. But, um, as you can see there's leftover fabric but I wanted to share with you just a quick sneak peek of a coffee table that my husband has made whilst making all the other tables um, so it has been a fortnight of tables for us so I'm going to scan down look how beautiful this is so my husband's made this from scratch um, and uh, yeah I'm just it's yeah gray gloss with ash legs it's so beautiful Hi everyone, my continuity is a little bit out in my filming there, but um, genuinely it has been a fortnight of um, tables for us. So um, the, 
the telephone table, which you've just seen in the corner here, complete, which I absolutely love. Wonderful sewing table here, um, which my husband made from scratch. And then just at the last second there, a sneak peek of um, the new coffee table he's created for us as well. So how lucky am I? Um, just extraordinary. You hear whip it feet in the background here. And just behind the camera, my daughter is sort of wandering around because uh, we're waiting to go out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as a little different soiree into the world of Annie chalk paint and repurposing lots of whippet feet going on, uh, um, repurposing um, furniture. Uh, this is a uh, the Staley top. Um, it's the first time I've worn it actually, so um, I'll give it an iron, I think. But yeah. Um, but I work out today just doing other things and I wanted to film this for you. So until next time, please stay safe and well. It's been great to see you. And uh, next time I hope to have some of those work in progresses made up. Oh, I did make a, um, a Zady jumpsuit this morning um, before I had a cup of tea, so as you do. Um, so yeah, next time I'll have some of those made up. Um, until then, stay safe and well, everybody. Great to see you. Cheers then. Bye-bye.